Part 50. We are going to continue with transformation geometry and we're still going to focus on rotation. You will find this on page 248 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to stand still at describe the rotation of plane figures. Remember, it's always like this. They can either ask you to they give you the figure and they ask you to do the rotation. Or they give you the original figure, they give you the transformation and they ask you to describe it. Okay, so describe fully the single transformation that maps the gray shape onto the unshaded white shape. So this shape onto this one. Okay, the rules for describing rotation. You must specify the transformation. Meaning, you must either say it's a reflection or a rotation. You must give the angle as well as the direction of rotation. And you must state the position of the center of rotation. Okay, so I'm going to, you're still going to use tracing paper to help you to find the angle and the direction of rotation. Copy the gray flag, put your pencil on the, on the center, turn 90 anti-clockwise and see if the figure now is on the image. Now again, with my technology, it's a bit more difficult, but I'm going to copy. Now, what, what are you going to copy? Now, let's just go. Put your tracing paper there. Copy. Copy the figure. Make an arrow facing north. Copy the center. Now, this is why I was doing like this, the center. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this, just to see, I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, anti-clockwise, positive 90 degrees. Now let's see, if I put it there again in that space, can you all see that it's fitting? Yes. So how am I going to describe it? I'm going to start with saying it's a rotation. I get one point. It's 90 degree anti-clockwise or positive 90 degrees. And it's about the center. Where did I put my pen or pencil when I did the rotation? There, at the center, at the origin, zero, zero. Okay, it's very important to write all three facts to get full marks. Because usually in the exam, you will get one mark for this, one mark for this, and one mark for this. Okay. I want you to do the following. I want you to do, try now 18, do number 2A as well as number C. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. I'm, I'm going to, again, try to use my technology to help me. So in the first one, because I look, it's more or less the same, so it's, I have the feeling that that is the center. Okay, but let's try to see. Now remember, what did I say? What must you copy? You must copy on tracing paper the figure, the center, as well as the arrow facing north. So, so basically on your tracing, there's the center, there at the corner. Okay. So I'm going to now see if it works. Now, if it's in a year, it, it can be anti-clockwise 90. But if it's a year, I must go for 180 and see if it works. Can you see? If I move it, it's going to fit. Can you see it's fitting? But I want to show you also, you can also, now I was turning it anti-clockwise, but let's turn it clockwise up to 180. Can you see it's exactly the same? So it doesn't matter if I was turning it clockwise, okay, clockwise or anti-clockwise. So if I must describe it, I'm going to say it's try now 18. And I'm going to start with number 2A. And I'm start and I say it's a rotation. Then I say 180 degrees. Now, you can uh, positive means actually anti-clockwise. But just remember, only 180 can either be this or, and I'm going to write it, negative 180 degrees which is going to be clockwise. So it doesn't matter. You can either 
write this option or this option or just this or just this or just one IT and leave out the positive. And now you must say the center. And what is the center? It was dead at the origin and that's zero. And it's better to write the coordinate. And in the exams, you will get one mark for that, one mark for that, and one mark for that. Okay, let's try the next one. Now, this is very, very important, what I'm going to tell you now. If the two figures connect at a point, always try that as your center. Okay, so these two figures connect there, so try that as your center. If the two figures is into each other, then try a center here in the middle. Okay. Now, if I look at this one, and again, as I said, it's a bit more difficult with my technology. But I'm going to try to see if I can show you. So, again, what do you copy? Take your tracing paper, copy your original figure, uh, copy your center, make an arrow facing north. Okay. Now. And you see it was there. Now, I'm going to try. Now, it, it looks like it's just 90 and it looks like it's anti-clockwise. So, so let's see if it's like that. Let's see if we can turn. If it's in that. Okay. Can you all see? Can you see? So basically, it was just, and remember, so if I'm going to start, I'm going to again first start to say it's a rotation. You're going to get one mark for that. And then say 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Or you can say negative 90 degrees. One of the two. Okay, sorry, sorry, not negative. Sorry, positive. Okay. And then the last one, you're going to say center. And now be careful. You must give the coordinate. So what is it? Two. Go there, three. So you're going to get one mark for rotation, one mark for this, one mark for this. So remember, anti-clockwise is positive rotation. So positive 90 degrees. 